we're gonna, here's the segue. We're going to go from pajamas to high fashion. The okay. first lady of the United States, one of the most well-known and recognised women in the world. But with fame comes scrutiny. Just ask Catty. Uh, Melania Trump is very different to Michelle Obama, and immediately she set people talking with her decision to remain in New York with her son, Barron. She is doing what she needs as First Lady, appearing a little earlier, for example, with Queen Rania of Jordan, but she's kept her official role to a minimum. So who is she? The President and First Lady of the United States will take their first dance. The end is near. Meet Melania, beautiful, always immaculately turned out. A few things you didn't know about Mrs. Trump. She's 24 years younger than her husband. She's the first American first lady to be born and raised in a communist country. She speaks five languages, but is said to be self-conscious about her thick Slovenian accent. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name. And she's a homebody who's reluctant to move from New York to the White House. They are so lucky that they don't have to do this every night, right? Are if they... Melania's happy in this new job, she doesn't always show it. Perhaps it's only fitting that this unusual president should have such a non-traditional first lady. Well, let's speak to Andrew Oak. He's a journalist who spent a year travelling around America researching first ladies for a book and television documentary. He's known as the first ladies' man. Welcome to the programme. So I'm going to play the bad cop here, and I'll let Caddy play the good cop. But she is in this hotel in New York. She's very different to Michelle Obama. We hardly see her. It's costing the taxpayer a fortune for her to be there. Couldn't she be doing a bit more? Well, she could, and, and Melania's approach to First Lady is certainly unusual, but not unprecedented. There's a number of First Ladies that didn't spend much time in Washington or come to Washington at all. Um, there are even more First Ladies that were not married to the President, in that they served as hostess duties, uh, nieces, uh, daughters, relatives. We just haven't seen this in America since 1914, when Ellen Wilson died and President Wilson's uh, sister had to sit in and be the, uh, the stand-in First Lady until he married his second wife, Edith. So we're just not used to this in modern times. So for the last hundred years, we've had more active uh, first ladies, particularly the last three or first, four first ladies who were very involved in the job. But isn't it time that we gave up on this notion that we had to have a first lady who was there to cut ribbons and shake hands and look wonderful and smile at cameras? And uh, fine, if Melania wants to stay in New York, good for her. Well, there's, there's, there is an angle to that. I mean, this, this is a non-elected and non-paid role. The woman just happens to be married to the person that became president and various first ladies over the year have taken more of a traditional role and more of an active role and what Melania is doing in protecting her son and keeping him where he is for the time being a lot of first ladies and first families the Clintons the Obamas the Kennedys have all taken even back to the Roosevelt's Teddy and Edith Roosevelt went to great lengths to keep their children out of the public eye and give them as normal a childhood as possible so you're right this role is ever-changing and the Trump administration is an unusual administration. <laughs> you can say that again. Andrew, thank you very much uh, for joining the program. Christian, I do think, I mean, in all seriousness, there has to be a reevaluation of what a woman who happens to be married to the president is expected to do. If she wants to stay in New York and she feels that's best to her family, good for her. Yeah, well, she's very different to Michelle Obama. I just wonder, though, if she might just shine you know, in that sort of role, and she might do him some good. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, that's all from 100 Days for today. If you'd like to get in touch with us, you can do on the hashtag BBC 100 Days. Thanks for watching.